Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a packing for Disney World video. I can't believe I'm making another one of these. I have had the most incredible year. I've managed to go to Disney World more than the average person, especially from the UK, that is for sure. And I am not taking it for granted at all. But in two weeks time, I will be back in the magic and I am so excited. The main purpose of this trip is actually to see my sister Alice. She has been working abroad in New York since May, which is kind of crazy because we are best friends and it's a long time to go without seeing each other. So the first three days of my trip will actually be spent in New York with Alice. I'm then flying down to Orlando to stay with my friend Bron for a few days and then Alice joins us for another few days of fun. So it's a bit kind of disjointed, but we've got a good chunk of Disney in there. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying to plan my outfits because I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I did until I did an ASOS order the other day and it turned out pretty successful. So we are going to plan our outfits now and this video is gonna go up a few days before I actually fly out. So you can actually help me decide what I'm gonna wear. We have many ears, many dresses. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy anything new before this trip. As usual, it didn't go to plan. Let's go with the first outfit. Also, I'm thinking I might take this t-shirt. It's from Magical Castle Embroidery and it says, do you suppose she's a wildflower? I love that quote. So I might take this one to travel in maybe from New York to Orlando. This trip is very surreal. As if I'm just like casually talking about flying from New York to Orlando. Okay, let's go for the first outfit that I'm pretty sure on, which is day one in Magic Kingdom with Bron. Okay, so this first dress is from Hollister. I love it very much. And I put a little white tee underneath to kind of add an autumnal vibe, even though it's forecast to be about 30 degrees when I am there. The ears are from my friend Fee, she made them for me. And I just think this in front of the Mickey Pumpkins or Cinderella carriages, because I think that's most of them now on Main Street. I think that's a vibe. My plan for that first Magic Kingdom day is just have like a full, full day. You know, like do the pumpkin spice latte, get the candy corn soft serve, because I'm very intrigued, the milkshake, take photos on Main Street and just kind of like soak up the full vibes, because I know Alice doesn't really love pumpkin flavors so much. So that is the plan for day one. I think this outfit is pretty much locked and loaded. And I will always be wearing my Nike Air Force Ones, although these are quite new. So I am concerned with blisters. So I'm gonna take my backup old ones. Look at the color difference. These were the same once upon a time. They're both going in the case. I have jumped ahead a little bit though, because the first day I arrive in Orlando, me and Bron are gonna do like a monorail night. So I have a couple options to wear for that. So the first option is more sophisticated, which is this little like body con, you can't see, goes just above the knee there. My only concern with this is I wanna be comfortable eating all of the foods we're gonna have. And if this is a bit tight, am I gonna wanna indulge as much as I want to? I'm thinking either no ears or like a classic white, maybe. That's quite fun. Or, no, I thought I had a brainwave and I was like, the perfect pair to match. But I think it would be the white ones if we wear ears at all. It might be a sans ears night, you know? with the locals. If we want to maximize comfort more, we also have this cute little dress from Stradivarius, a very classic um, number. Although this could work for food and wine. Do you sense my dilemma here? I really don't have a clue besides that first day what I'm wearing on any of the days. Actually, I tell a lie, I do know my Halloween outfit because me and my sister are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. I don't wanna spoil it because I feel like part of the fun of Not So Scary is showing up in your outfit and no one knowing beforehand, but I'll give you a quick sneak peek. Did you see? Did you guess? Let me know down below what you think we're gonna be. I am very grateful to attractiontickets.com for gifting me my tickets to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. You know, I worked with them a couple of times before, firstly for Disneyland back in March, and then also we went to Thorpe Park fairly recently, and I did a giveaway with them then. They are a go-to website for UK customers looking to buy tickets to theme parks around the world, not just Disney. They'll do all the special event tickets. Obviously the Halloween parties are now sold out, but they also do Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So if you were hoping to go to that, do not hang about, because it's probably gonna sell out pretty soon. So when they send you your tickets in the post, you get this adorable little travel wallet. This is the one they sent me for the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. And then inside we have the two tickets for the party in a little wallet. We've got Mickey and Bell, and you can just basically scan the barcode on the back and it will link to my Disney experience and you'll scan in at the gate and be good to go. We have also got in here super cute 50th anniversary lanyards. I feel like Let's set that up now. So you've got a little plastic wallet to put all your tickets and passes and I don't know, cards in. Which one am I gonna have, Mickey or Belle? I feel like I kinda have to go for the Belle one. Sorry Alice if you wanted the Belle one. Pop it inside. We have our lanyard for the 50th. 
anniversary how cute i will obviously have them linked down below for you to check out all your different ticket needs but i am so excited to vlog the whole party that'll be probably the first vlog i'll post once i'm back because it will be october by that point and i don't want to you know be too late with the halloween content even though i'm sure most of you have watched many mickey's not so scary vlogs by this point thank you once again to attraction tickets for gifting me those tickets i am so excited but let's get back to the video and actually planning the rest of our outfits because we've got what a solid two down not even two so now we come to food and wine at epcot i love this dress so much it's so fun but i just can't think of what it is to wear it with i feel like nothing is quite right which is why i might preserve it for like a new york dress instead with alice the sleeves are very extra as well like do i actually need that on a 30 degree theme park day when it might storm also i forgot to say please manifest that we have a rain-free night at mickey's not so scary because i've seen so many vlogs of it getting rained off and i just don't need that i want a nice chill well it's not gonna be chill a nice clear evening please this is one option which i think kind of works but it's just like something's off for me i might be over thinking it i feel like this strawberry dress could be very fun because strawberries are a food and it's food and wine festival and i plan on eating a lot of food and those ears are quite cute it's a combo the only thing stopping me is that i've obviously like worn this dress before well not worn it before i've obviously worn it many times but i've worn it to the hundred acre wood and we took loads of photos there this is such a dumb dilemma to even have but you know when it's like the dress has had its time to shine do we want to give it another one i actually think we might but it's kind of weird because i wear this one a lot to work so it's like is that going to feel strange going from wearing it in the office to wearing it in a Disney park? Once again, I'm asking the people of YouTube to help me with this. You know what also could be a vibe though? Do we go like full pink ensemble and wear the crossbody bag from Bron? Do you a cute little pink fit? This actually could be the move. So the day we have food and wine, Alice is also arriving in the evening. And the next morning, me, Alice and Bron are going for breakfast at the beach club, which means we need a cute little outfit. And I'm thinking this Abercrombie dress, I feel like is perfect beach club vibes and then we've got the old faithful when in doubt put the lover is on and everything comes together and then after our breakfast we're just gonna have like a chill day before the halloween party starts at four well you can get into magic kingdom from four and then the party starts at seven so we'll be in at four call us crazy but the day after the halloween party we are going to try and do four parks in one day because alice only has like another two full days in the parks and we're going to do magic kingdom on the sunday but she still wants to do guardians and i want to go to animal kingdom primarily for satuli canteen because i love that bowl of my life so we're just gonna four parks it so we need a comfortable outfit for that and i have this orange romper which is very very free this is the perfect outfit if you're going to be running around disney world all day long i'm thinking with this one we'll have the classic white ears it's got a very picnicky vibe i do also have an outfit change for this day but i can't show you because it's a t-shirt that alice has it's from i think wishes and co and it's been sent straight to her i'm probably gonna wear that with denim shorts either tucked in or biker shorts and it like over the top so i've got it in a medium i think so we'll see how it fits but yeah another outfit TikTok. I personally think we saved the best till last. This is my Magic Kingdom outfit for our final day. Normally I wear a pink dress on my first day, but we're switching it up. We're going crazy. And this is just a perfect princess dress. I think Alice is gonna wear a pink dress as well because we love to be, you know, those cringy matching sisters, but not matching, matching completely, apart from the Halloween party. Ears, once again, are made by my friend Fee. She doesn't have a shop, sorry. It's got like the make it pink, make it blue vibe. Perfect for the current castle. I have no complaints with this one. It's perfect. It's from Abercrombie. I got it half price in the sale, but strangely it's gone back up in price. So I don't know what that's about. We do also have to sort out our bags though. How many lounge flies is reasonable considering I'm only in the parks for five days. So we open it up. This one's an absolute must. The newest addition to the collection. She is perfect. Mary Poppins Jolly Holiday bag. We've got the embroidered penguins on the back. It even says Jolly Holiday in the corner. More penguins. I mean, this is an obvious combo, right? This one's coming, of course. But which one next? I feel like even though it's an ice cream, which doesn't scream autumnal, the brown tones are very suited to autumn. So I think this one's coming too. I think way too hard about this. It's ridiculous. It also has like a very deep, like some of the lounge flies are a bit smaller and it's hard to fit a water bottle in, which I need. Yeah, this one's coming. And then we can take one more, right? But which one? I think you've been chosen. The tangled one is a classic and also because it's white, it can go with most outfits like it's not going to clash in the same way that for example the winnie the Pooh one as much as i love it 
you can't wear that with many things so sadly she's not making the trip i'm now going to try on some other outfits that i might be wearing for new york if you don't want to stay tuned anymore that's fine i get most people are here just for the disney but i think i might flip flop from the outfits like things i wear in new york i might end up wearing in disney world so if you want to see it all stay tuned i also forgot i need a traveling to disney t-shirt so we're gonna go with the 50th mickey t-shirt with probably biker shorts for the plane down once again please manifest my plane is on time no problems thank you very much so if any of you follow my sister you probably know she's a bit of a style queen yeah her outfits are always so polished and put together and by contrast i look like i rolled out of bed and just threw on the first thing i saw which is quite accurate but i want to try and go up in her level i mean i'll never reach that but we're gonna try so this i think is my first day in new york outfit it is super lightweight we've got the brown to go with, like the cobblestone brown buildings i think it's fun also our first day in new york is kind of a big one because that evening we go see funny girl with leah michelle i am once again asking you to manifest for me that leah michelle is on that night it's a saturday evening performance so provided she's all better from covid we should be good to go you never know with the theater so do we think this one suits day one new york exploring the city seeing funny girl vibes also my hair is a mess just ignore that it's gonna be better it just has like such cute detailing up here i love the spotted i love the double tie which i haven't done you can also see the color better up close so do other people spend this much time thinking about their outfits so i adore this dress i actually got it in the mail today and i'm obsessed i was looking at it for weeks and asos but finally they had a discount code 25 percent so i could justify buying it i love it and part of me is like is this a food and wine dress should this be in disney world but then also new york you've got to show up in style i can't have all my best outfits just in orlando in a theme park new york is going to be slightly cooler the vibes will be immaculate i'll be getting my little iced coffee in the morning walking down the street but also we have to check like what would the vibes be with some ears let's see i think that's just changed everything this one has to be in disney world there's no way which means one of the dresses we've already got currently for disney world is moving to new york she's taylor swift oh that complicates things doesn't it i feel like everyone watching is going to be like yes agree with me this one has to be in disney but it's also cute for new york this is the final dress that i'm going to pack it is a midi dress can you see did you see it's classic it's yellow i love it and it's slightly more elegant so i think again this is definitely new york and the brown spotted one definitely new york it's just that that third option we've got three days gotta fill third option is up in the air in terms of stuff i'm gonna pack besides clothes i feel like it's all pretty much in the video i did back in march packing for disneyland so you want to see that like my fuel rod my park essentials go check out that video down below oh one more thing i do need a swimsuit time by the pool we're gonna need a bikini that we don't feel horrible in but yeah that is all for now if you would like to see the vlogs from this trip because obviously i'm going to vlog every single day and you're not already subscribed be sure to do that down below i really appreciate it please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also if you are looking forward to the vlogs to come comment down below any suggestions things we should move around because like i said i'm not going for another few days so i am open to suggestions thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you from orlando oh my goodness okay bye <laughs>